Hello everybody and welcome to another knockoff review. In today's video I'm taking a look at the latest figure from Black Mamba. This is their deformation area mechanical alliance yellow bug part of the alloy version studio series aka an oversized with added die cast version of the studio series Bumblebee movie Bumblebee. Back of the box has what you would expect just a very simple image of B in both his bot and car mode and these boxes are ridiculously oversized too much so in my opinion and here we have that certain yellow bug out of his packet spinning around on the turntable it is literally an oversized version of studio series although it is held together exceptionally well really nice plastics being used very minimal paint applications it would appear that black mamba have a variety of series going on at the moment uh, this is kind of their once say entry level it's kind of the next up from the entry level and they're also going to be doing an oversized version of the masterpiece figure as well with all the highly added detailing but if you're looking for a decent bumblebee this is held together exceptionally well and it does look good i know a lot of people had trouble with the original studio series version this has no issues whatsoever holding a pose and he looks good doing it as standard he comes packaged with an arm as opposed to a cannon we can just switch those out and pop that on there we go now he now has two arms and he also has his stinger blade which attaches to either arm tabbing in to these panels we have die cast there in the feet uh, these don't have the most uh, slender of legs but he doesn't look bad at all does he really i mean i think he holds together pretty nicely it's a nice coloration there's plenty of space there to put stickers on him if you see fit we've got some nice clear glass on those windows uh, all in all i think could do with having a little bit of tightening up on the back of these feet here these don't quite uh, stay where I want them to ideally you'd like that to be a little bit tighter but all in all he's a good looking bee here we have him alongside power charge bumblebee and of course MPM bumblebee really does dwarf the MPM don't get me wrong the MPM still has the kind of better detailing in my opinion but that being said for a cheap and cheerful guy he looks pretty darn awesome doesn't he and here we have the movie series Bumblebee as well. Uh, this is the Legendary Toys, which is the repaint of the MPM. And then we have the Blue Circus Bumblebee, which is an oversized version. Uh, these stand pretty much identical height. I would say that uh, this has it just slightly, but obviously he doesn't have any of that heft or the added paint applications and you can see he does come across as much more orange compared to the others and of course we have him there with the blue circus optimus prime as well i think that's a pretty good scale i believe the scale has changed slightly with the latest movie i think b is a little bit taller than what he's been depicted in the other movies i think he's 15 feet in the bayverse and i think he's slightly taller than that or prime slightly shorter either way the scale has changed slightly and very much hoping that we get an oversized bumblebee prime uh, either the studio series or an mpm done to that sort of scale Let's take a closer look at the head sculpt we've got space on there for an autobot insignia uh, it's a good face although i do like the kind of battle mask that we get with the other versions, uh, tidies up okay, I guess. It's no more messy than the Studio Series version. He's got a nice kind of high chest piece and trousers on there. Would have liked some ratchet joints, but I guess that's the sacrifice you get when you get the lower end of their market. We've got a nice upwards motion there, left and right down and tilt side to side. Shoulders are on friction joints, out to the side, ball sockets. We can lift the shoulder hinge up slightly higher. There is an upper bicep rotation and a bend. There's also a open and close on the hand, albeit very, very slight indeed. And there's also that curl on the wrist. There is a waist rotation in there. 
we can go forwards with the legs and backwards with the legs, out to the side, upper thigh rotation. We've got a bend on the knee, just shy of 90 degrees. And the feet can go up and down. We can pivot out to the side. But like I said, really could do with these being slightly tighter. It's just something a little bit lackluster about floppy ankles. But even with those floppy ankles, there's still enough there to get some nice poses in his bot mode. All right, now to get the yellow bug transformed up, you want to lift his arms up like so. You want to just open up these chest pieces. They are tabbed in either side. The back of these legs come detached like so. Now we can bring this back tab down and that's gonna come folding all the way out like so. And then that is going to hoik up as we bring that over, these shoulders are going to rotate. We can flip these window panels down on either side. And then this is where you get to see my uh, faux pas of QC. You didn't notice when he was in the box, and I didn't notice until the first time I transformed him, but obviously we have this rear piece here, and uh, this one, not so much. <laughs> the back panel of the car is missing. Uh, not really ideal to say the least. Uh, you want to curl his hands in and curl his hands in. Rotate the waist all the way around. Bring these shins up. Collapse the feet and bring the rear of the vehicle up and just tab that back end in together. These arm panels come in, rotate, and they are gonna slide down. The front of the car can just push in and push in. And then it's just a matter of lining all of these back pieces up and then just start to tab everything in to where it belongs. There we go, that's just gonna slide in there nicely. These slide in and line up on the front of the grill. This tabs in on those legs and these rear bumper sections just push and tab in, you know, it's such a shame that that panel is missing because the actual transformation is nice, it's clean, everything pegs in as it should. It's just, um, I'm missing a big chunk of the car. <laughs> but there we go, there he is in his VW Beetle mode and it's a really nice size as well. I mean, I'm talking Human Alliance size, if not slightly bigger. Much like we could do in bot mode, we can also store the weapons on the underside there. Although this piece here does really not want to lock and locate on there very well. It's kind of really quite loose. I'm guessing I can't win them all, but yeah, that's meant to hang on the underside there, but unfortunately it doesn't. But I like the fact that the head is clearly visible, which reminds me very much of the movie. There he is alongside the Power Charge Bumblebee. We have the MP10. And of course we have one of our Human Alliance Wreckers. Um, I don't know, maybe too big to scale with Human Alliance. Uh, I know the Volkswagen Beetle is actually a lot bigger than what people remember it to be. Uh, it's actually got quite a long wheelbase, uh, but I don't think it's quite that big. If we just open up this and get our driver out. There we go. See, I think he's probably yeah, <laughs> a smidge too small there, isn't it? So it's it's bigger than Human Alliance, which is a shame. Uh, I would have liked it to have scaled nicely with them, but it's still a nice Bumblebee if you are a Bumblebee fan. Just make sure that you check and check again because this is missing parts. Uh, I will give TF Direct a shout and hopefully they'll be able to source the replacement part from Black Mamba. Black Mamba seem to be pretty good 
uh, replacement parts. Failing that, I shall hunt them down when I visit Hong Kong later this month. So again, I'd like to thank TF Direct for making this video possible. And until next time, from myself and the Black Mamba Deformation Studio Series Yellow Bug Alloy version, ah, uh, goodbye. <laughs>